show you how to find the slope of a line. The problem might say, will say, uh, find the slope of a line passing through the coordinate points, and it'll give you two pairs of coordinates. And you, to do this, you have to know the formula. There's the formula. M stands for slope. The slope is M, a bada bada bin. That's from the song, the slope rap. The slope is M. So the slope is y2 my minus y1 over x2 my minus x1. Slope, 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 So to do that formula, I want you to make three bubbles on the top, like so. Bubble up, bubble up, bubble up. I don't like that marker. And three bubbles on the bottom. Bubble up. Oh, better marker. Bubble up. Bubble up. Bubble up, bubble up, bubble up. Three bubble, 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 bubble. And they are very important. Then you come over here and you do this. You assign values because you're like, okay, who's Y2? Who's Y1? You assign those values to your coordinate pairs. You put an X under here and a Y under here and an X under here and a Y under here. And then you put a 1 and a 1 and a 2 and a 2. Now, how do you know to do that? And how do you know which X goes where, which what? Here's how. It's in a song. That'll help you to remember it. And also, also, what comes, what are the, what are the last three letters of the alphabet? X, Y, Z. X, Y. You always put the X first and then the Y. A lot of people, believe it or not, they'll put Y, X. That doesn't work. X, Y, X, Y. Okay, and then... Uh, to, to get those ones and the twos correct, you just follow this song. X, Y, X, Y, one, one, Betty, one, here come the two, two. And you say that because you're actually saying X, Y, X, Y, one, one. That means like run, run, better run. Here comes the choo-choo. Like get out of the way, here comes the choo-choo. So you say two, two instead of choo-choo. Okay, let's sing the song again so it gets stuck in your brain. X, Y, X, Y, 1, 1, Betty, 1, here comes the choo-choo. X, Y, X, Y, 1, 1, Betty, 1, here comes the choo-choo. That'll help you get the letters uh, in their proper place. Then you just, Obi-Wan Kenobi say, let the force be with you. We say, let the formula guide you. Let the formula guide you. The first so I'm going to put an equal sign and a what? And we're going to let the formula guide you. Well, very first bubble. Who's in the first bubble? Y2. Well, who's Y2? I don't know. He's who's Y2? Let's find him. Oh, there he is. It's a negative six. So in the same position as the Y2, that bubble, you put a negative six for the first bubble. What do you put for the second bubble? Who's in the second bubble? Takeaway. So for the second bubble, you put a takeaway. What do you put for the third bubble? Y1. Well, who's Y1? Let's look and see. Y1, Y1. Oh, there he is. It's zero. So you put in a zero. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Now let's do the bottom bubbles. Bubble X2. Who's X2? I don't know. Where is he? There he is. He's negative four. So you put negative four for the first bubble in the same position as the X2. Who's in the second bubble? A takeaway. So you put your takeaway. Who's in the third bubble? X1. Well, who's X1? There he is. He's negative one. So you put negative one. Now I'm going to take the time to show you what people do wrong so that you won't do it wrong. If you know the common error, then it's more likely that you won't make the common error. Here's what people will do wrong. If you don't put the bubbles when you're first learning this, this is what people do wrong. They'll put, oh, x2 is negative, or x2 is negative 4. Then they'll say, okay, I put the takeaway. And then they'll look up and see who x1 is. x1 is negative 1. Oh, negative 1. <coughs> Thank you for playing. And they will get the wrong answer because they'll see the takeaway sign there and they'll think, oh, that's my negative, and then they'll put one. And that's wrong. If you have the bubbles to go by, you will make sure you put the correct thing in for each bubble up. Okay, then you just type in the top, write down what you get. You take nothing away from negative six, you get negative six. 
and if you get if you point that in, you get negative three. And then a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. And three goes into six, two. So the slope of that line passing through those two points is positive two. And that's how you do the slope of a line. Completed.